Seconde secrétaire de l'ambassade, Madame Laura Finley. Excusez, excusez, je cherchais. J'attendais lui aussi la traduction. From the Irish Embassy in Ottawa, Mrs. Laura Finley, seconded secretary of the embassy, delegated by the ambassador, the Honorable Jim Kelly. Distinguished guests, mesdames and messieurs, G. Guive Galera Corja. C'est un honneur et un privilège d'être parmi vous aujourd'hui à l'invitation de Monsieur George Cavanaugh, descendant des survivants du naufrage des Carrick. Je voudrais profiter en ce moment pour remercier Monsieur Cavanaugh et Parks Canada pour les efforts qu'ils ont déployés pour organiser la cérémonie um, poignante d'aujourd'hui. Nous sommes tous réunis ici pour commémorer et nous souvenir de la vie des hommes, des femmes et des enfants irlandais qui ont péri dans l'épave du navire des Carriques, si près de l'endroit où nous nous trouvons aujourd'hui. The shipwreck of the Carricks, running aground on the shoals off the coast of Gaspé, is an event that has shaped Gaspé Z, Quebecois, and Canadian history alike. Descendants of the survivors of this terrible tragedy are here today, a testament to the lasting impact and legacy of the Carrick's harrowing journey. Canada is a country whose story is comprised of people from many different backgrounds and nationalities who have made their homes here and who have made it the strong, welcoming, multicultural nation it is today. Indeed, the story behind the monument here at Cap de Rosier is a truly Canadian one, which emphasizes Ireland and Canada's shared history and close relationship, in part due to these painful historic events. Les Paves de Navire des Carriques occupe en place particulière dans l'histoire irlandaise. The Navire des Carriques a quitté Sligo dans l'Ouest Irland en 1847, transportant près de 200 passagers. Ces passagers euh, étaient des hommes, des femmes et des enfants, des familles à destination du Canada, leur voyage conduit par le besoin urgent et l'espoir d'une vie meilleure. 1847 foot le chapitre le plus sombre dans la famine irlandaise, les plus tristes et les plus traumatisants de l'histoire d'Irlande. La famine irlandaise a coûté la vie à plus de 1 million de personnes et a déplacé 2 millions des autres alors qu'elles cherchaient à s'échapper et à trouver refuge dans le monde entier. Their journey to a new land, unfortunately, would not be an easy one. Even the ships that reached Canada safely were riddled with sickness and disease, so much so that most of the ships um, from Ireland bound for Canada were referred to as coffin ships. The mass graves of those who died at sea or upon arrival at Gros Isle and in Mon Montreal underscore a hope unfulfilled, the tragic loss of those who left Ireland in search of a better life. Le gouvernement irlandais reconnaît et souligne cet événement comme, fait, comme faisant partie de la fabrique de l'histoire commune de Irlande et le Canada. They are commemorated at sacred sites here in Canada, such as the Black Rock Memorial in Montreal, the Irish Memorial National Historic Site at Gros Isle, and Ireland Park in Toronto, funded in part by the Irish government as a sign of the government of Ireland's commitment to remembering our history. International famine commemorations have been held in Canada by the Department of Culture, Heritage and the Gwaeltacht in 2009, 2015 and 2017, and the Embassy was proud to support these important events. Le monument ici à Cap de Rosier marque également un terre sacré et rend hommage à ceux qui ont péri dans l'épave de navire des Carriques. L'histoire orale décrit l'existence en fosse commune, le long de la plage, aux ceux et celles qui n'ont pas servi ces désastres ont été en vie, un nombre qui dépassé cent ans. L'intérêt renouvelé qui a subi la découverte des services vestige a aussi servi à apporter une reconnaissance importante au naufrage des Carrick, un événement tra tragique dans l'histoire irlandaise et canadienne. I would like to thank and acknowledge uh, Forion National Park and Parks Canada for their persistence in seeking answers about the discovered remains and to the researchers at the University of Montreal for allowing the victims of the Carrick story to emerge. This resurgence of memory is important so we can pay our respects to the brave souls who came before us, who met their untimely end when they were within grasp of reaching their future. The recent film, The Lost Children of the Carricks by Professor Garoja Halloran, 
further immortalizes the lives and legacies of those aboard the Carracks. This trilingual film reflects the interwoven history of Ireland, Quebec and Canada, <coughs> about which Ambassador Kelly spoke at the recent pre-screening of the film in Montreal. Les antecedents familiaux de Monsieur Cavanagh, un descendant des survivants du naufrage de Carrick, ont inspiré le film. Je voudrais aussi reconnaître les efforts de Monsieur Cavanagh en étant l'organisateur principal de service funéraire ici aujourd'hui. It is only fitting that a proper funeral be held for those who never receive one. And so it is my distinct honour and privilege to represent the Irish government on this occasion and to convey the following message to you all from Minister Josepha Madigan, who is our Cabinet Minister for Culture, Heritage and the Gwaeldots. As the Chair of the National Famine Commemoration Committee, I am pleased that the descendants of the Carrick shipwreck survivors <coughs> excuse me, are now being afforded the opportunity to honour the memory of those victims of the famine in a dignified and appropriate way. It is especially fitting that this ceremony takes place now, a matter of weeks after the holding of the National Famine Commemoration in Sligo, from where the Carrick set sail in that fateful year of Black 47. The terrible events of this summer of 1847 are a very important part of Irish history. They are also, of course, an integral part of the history of Quebec and Canada. This is reflected in the role of Gros Seal in the first overseas commemoration of the Great Irish Famine in 2009. Je voudrais maintenant remercier et exprimer ma gratitude au nom du peuple irlandais et de notre gouvernement pour la générosité et l'humanité manifestée par le peuple canadien et en particulier par la population québécoise à l'égard des Irlandais durant l'été de 1847. Above all, today is a day for the families whose forebearers endured that terrible voyage. I had the good fortune to view a trailer for the lost children of the Carricks at the National Famine Commemoration in Sligo. I look forward to the release of this film, creating a greater awareness of this important story on both sides of the Atlantic when it is released later this year. It is, of course, especially fitting that the documentary, written and directed by Garoud Halmeron, was made with the active participation of George Kavanagh, himself a descendant of the Carricks, and Joel McGowan from Sligo. Finally, I would like to thank Parks Canada for their role in facilitating the commemoration of this tragedy, the story of which deserves to be known more widely. The Irish people will always be grateful for the sanctuary that Canada provided during those dark days. We hope that this burial brings some peace to surviving families and rest for the souls we are remembering today. Ardesh de Garao Nanamika, que de Benise Lerzam, qu'ils repose en paix avec le Seigneur. Merci. Merci.